Hi everyone, it's Penny here from Wales in the UK. Thank you for being here with me today. I've got some baking powder and I've got some clear gesso and I've chosen these stencils. There's this one and then I've got a big number one, this one and I've got this feather one. And I don't know if I'm going to use them all but I wanted to make some texture paste and as this is in my uh, little art journal that um, I was using in my last video, I thought I would do a homemade texture paste. So I'm just going to use some of my clear gesso. You can use um, white gesso or you could use white acrylic paint or if you wanted to um, add a colour to it, I'm sure that would work as well. So I don't measure anything. I am I just kind of add the baking powder and then add the gesso until I get a consistency that um, I think will work. So what I, th I thought I'd do today is I thought I'll stencil, use some of my stencils with this texture paste and then I just want to add um, colour, maybe you know run the colour or I'm not quite sure yet. I think I might add a little bit more gesso. I'll just add a little bit more. That feels better, that's a bit smoother. Okay, we'll go with that. a little bit left there but I could use that somewhere else
It's the next day everyone, so the texture place is completely dry now. I'm super happy with how my numbers turned out, I'm really pleased with those. I can use those um, in another project. Right, I'll just take this brush, the flat brush. So I just want the colours to run down all these stencil textures. What colour should I put next? I'm tempted to put some cobalt blue. Maybe what I'll do is, if I turn the book around, I'm loving those colours, and then, oh, I've got some, I've mixed some water in here in this artiste of sun flower yellow. It's tricky when you've got lots of different colours on. I wonder if I could blow it a bit. Oh, sugar. Well, that's quite lovely, isn't it? I really like that. So I just need another colour that'll go kind of in here. What colour shall I use? Uh, how about some orange?
After I'd finished with the black Posca pen and made lots of mark making, which I usually absolutely love to do, on this page, I felt that it just overwhelmed the page. I lost, I lost the effect of the colours, which I, which I did really love. The only place I've left the black pen is on the feather here, um, which I think gives it a bit of depth. But I took a, a wet wipe or several wet wipes and I wiped all the black Posca pen off. And of course, it also lifted the colour, but it's left it with quite a grungy look, which I actually really like. Um, so I'm going to leave this page as it is. And it's given me the idea that maybe I could try this on uh, one of my canvases. Just, you know, different stencils with lots of texture paste and then just run different colours up and down the canvas. I'm going to try it anyway. So as this, this video is a bit shorter than the ones I normally upload, um, so when I went on my walk yesterday, I, I took a very short video just so that you could um, share with me why my walk um, here in, in part of West Wales. So I hope you enjoy the video. There is an old mill um, I don't know how old it is. It was once a working mill, but it's it's very overgrown now. I couldn't go inside because there were too many nettles in the way. But anyway, it's just a two or three minute video. And as I say, I hope you enjoy it. I will see you soon. Sending you all lots of love. And till the next time. Bye for now.